Whoa. What's up, YouTube? I hope you guys are having a great day. As you can tell, I'm so freaking excited for the new Spider-Man film. It's coming out in about two weeks now. I just watched Captain America Civil War because I wanted to sort of catch up and get myself ready for the story in Homecoming. I just can't wait. But anyway, let's get on to the topic of this video. And what I wanted to talk to you guys about was macro nutrients and how to calculate your macros. You may be thinking, uh, well, Dom, what are macros? So basically your body has uh, a need for nutrients, right? And broadly speaking, these can be split up into two types, micronutrients and macronutrients. Micronutrients are all the things like vitamins and minerals that you need to do certain things within the body, um, like the vitamin D you get from sunlight and omega-3 from fish oil, etc. Macronutrients are the things your body needs in massive amounts. And those three nutrients are carbohydrates, protein and fats and these three things are really important for your muscle to develop and grow and your mind and your mental well-being and just really good for your overall health. Whatever your goal is there's an optimal amount to either put on muscle or to lose weight and I'm about to tell you how you can calculate those so let's get into it. Alright, so what you want to do guys is head over to iifym.com. You can do this by typing it into Google and then selecting the first link. I'll put it down below in the description for ease. Um, so once it loads, you want to click on the fitness calculator. Uh, and then once that loads, the iifym calculator should be launched. Once this is done, you're going to get this kind of page where you can just input a ton of information. And don't worry guys, I will walk you through the entire process. So, we may as well start at the top of the form where you will select your gender. Hopefully you will know this, I'm a male, I think. What's 9 plus 10? That's right, 21. Then you want to put your height, I am a shorty, at 5'8". Then you want to put in your weight. I totally didn't just Google what my weight was in pounds, I definitely knew this. Then you want to do the same for your goal weight as well. You can change the metrics at the top if you prefer to use kilos, which we do in the UK rather than the US, but I'm a wannabe American. Then we need to describe our daily activities. I sit at a desk all day, so my role is sedentary. After that, you need to put in your exercise information. So that is how often you're exercising and how long for. Guys, please be honest here, you're only cheating yourself if you're not honest. Best thing to do, set out a plan and just stick to it. Put those in here and follow it. Otherwise, the calories it gives you is just going to be wrong. If you put in, for example, six days of training and you only do three, you're going to have way too many calories from this calculator. Then you want to put the difficulty of the exercise you're doing. Sometimes I train really hard, sometimes I have a horrible session. So I go with moderate because it's in the middle. After that, you need to outline your goal. Whether it's weight loss or if it's maintenance or if it's bulking, you can use this calculator to work out your surplus, your deficit or whatever your maintenance calories are. I go with the 20% on the aggressive weight loss because I am trying to cut. You can go for reckless or even suggested, but I recommend using a slow and steady wins the race kind of pace here guys. Uh, it's a marathon, not a sprint, and it's much easier to stick to if it's slow. So there we have it guys, my cutting calories, 1882 calories if I stick to 6 sessions per week at 60 minutes. You can click on the button that says click here to get your macros, but I find that they do them, they're just, they're slightly off. So I'm going to give you a method to work those out now. So just before we get into it guys, please remember these numbers. Protein is equal to 4 calories per gram, fat is 9, carbs is 4. So the first thing you want to do is put down your total amount of calories, which we just worked out using IIFYM. So for me, that's 1,882 calories. Then you want to write down the macros on the side, so that's protein, fats and carbs, PFC for short. For protein, it's quite simple, it's 1 gram per pound of body weight, so for me it's 161 grams of protein. Done easy. 
For fats, you want to use a range of 0.3 to 0.6. 0.6 if you're on the leaner side, 0.3 if you're on the heavier side. Remember, fats are inversely proportional to carbs, so the more fats you have, the less carbs you're going to get. I went for 0.4 as I'm kind of an average body weight, which gave me 64.4. So this rounds down to 64 grams of fat for me. And now we go on to working out our carbs, and here's where you use the magic numbers I put on the left hand side of the screen. So for protein, you use 161 times 4, because there's 4 calories per gram, plus the amount of fat you had, so that was 64 for me, remember, times 9, because that's how many calories there are per gram of fat. So working out the answer to this sum gives you the amount of calories you've used so far with fats and protein. So for me, this works out to 1,220. You take your total calories and you minus the calories you've used so far to get what you have left. Then you're going to use the number that you have left and you're going to divide it by 4 because remember that's what our magic number says on the left hand side of the screen. So how many calories have I got left? 662, that's how many. So once I divide this by 4, that's going to give me around about 166 carbs for me to use. So let's round this all up. My ideal is 161 grams of protein, 64 grams of fat, and 166 grams of carbs, all in 1,882 calories. If you have any questions, please do let me know. There is a science behind the numbers, but I just didn't want to bore you guys. As always, thank you all for watching. Please leave a like, comment, and subscribe. Peace!